Now we're going to look at the passenger side of the engine compartment. Again, as you can see, a lot easier to get to. Uh, all of your components, pop-up filter for the uh, air cleaner. There is your turbocharger, singular, EGR valve. Now the one thing that we're, we learn as salesmen is that your air cleaner should be mounted horizontally with the intake at the top and the air exit out the side. That way the air enters the filter and then any contaminants and debris fall to the bottom of the filter as the air travels out the side so none of the contaminants get down into your engine. Now we're going to spin around here and as you can see here is the International and again um, I'll back up. The engine is not even visible from the passenger side here. Um, there's a lot more coolant lines and other things because they went with massive EGR which generates tremendous amounts of heat for your engine. Uh, actually to that point it's hard to see inside here but there's a condenser inside there. There's a number, there's actually up to four or five radiators slash condensers on this truck. And then my point about the air cleaner, okay, they've got a nice visible pop-up filter here. But remember we said that the air filter needs to have the air intake on the top and the exit on the side so that you don't allow any contaminants to get into your engine. Well, as you can see here on the International, there's your air intake on the top. Follow it down and the exit is actually on the bottom of it. So what they've done is they've now allowed the design and the lack of room under, under hood. Again, I'm just giving you views of the engine. Uh, they've, they've allowed the air to now possibly flow through with contaminants. And what you can't see here about engine complexity is there's a turbocharger there and there is a turbocharger there. So, whereas our engine is simplistic in design, their engine now has two turbos and four or five radiators slash condensers. Possibly a sixth that's hidden back in here in front of the fan blades. So, again, part of the thing about a truck purchase is maintenance and ease of service. And if you look at the design of this international engine compared to the Hino, I think it's a no-brainer as to which engine is easier to service and maintain. And maybe that's the reason that Hino has won JD Power three years in a row and best engine four years in a row. Have a great day.